Good morning everyone. Today we will be diving into the beautiful and thought-provoking poem titled Bunny P by Trinidad El Tarosa Subido. This poem explores themes of identity, self-perception, and the desire for change. So let's read the poem itself first. We call her foreign woman, God. Burnished copper dust are glinting from her hair. White as a tropic sky, her face, her eyes see blue, like the silver of a living star, her smile. My eyes are dark and, too, my hair, and brown the flesh that shrouds my soul. If I should die tonight and be reborn, O Lord Greater, make me, too, a foreign woman to my native land. So let's start by summarizing the poem. In vanity, the speaker expresses her admiration for a woman whom they call the foreign woman. The foreign woman is described as having glinting burnished copper dust in her hair, a face as white as a tropic sky, a sea blue eyes, and a smile as radiant as a silver levan star. In contrast, the speaker describes herself as having dark eyes, dark hair, and brown skin. So the poem takes a turn when the speaker expresses a desire to be reborn as a foreign woman in their native land. Now let's delve into the themes present in the poem. One prominent theme is beauty standards and societal pressure to conform. The speaker's admiration for the foreign woman's appearance suggests a longing to fit into a certain idealized image of beauty. The poem also explores the theme of cultural identity. The speaker's desire to be reborn as a foreign woman implies a sense of dis dissatisfaction or disconnect with their own cultural identity. Additionally, the poem touches on the theme of the desire for acceptance. The speaker believes that being a foreign woman would bring, would bring them beauty and acceptance in their native land. So, here's my question. Can you relate to the speaker's desire for change or the longing for acceptance? Well, for me, I would like to share my personal response to the poem. Drawing from my own experience of being skinny and having acne-prone skin. As I read the lines describing the foreign woman's beauty, I couldn't help but reflect on the societal pressure to conform to a certain beauty standards. Growing up, I felt self-conscious about my skinny frame and struggled with acne breakouts. It seemed like the idealized image of beauty portrayed in the media was far from what I saw in the mirror. However, as I continued to read the poem, I realized that desire for change and longing for acceptance are universal feelings. The speaker's longing to be reborn as a foreign woman resonated with me on a deeper level. It made me question why we often feel the need to change ourselves to fit into societal norms or to be seen as more beautiful or accepted. But through my journey of self-acceptance, I've come to understand that beauty is not confined to a specific body type or flawless skin. It is about embracing our unique features and finding confidence from within. The poem reminded me that true beauty lies in the authenticity of who we are regardless of societal expectations or physical attributes. It is essential to foster an environment of acceptance and celebrate diversity, where everyone feels valued and beautiful in their own skin. The title Vanity is related to the poem itself as it reflects the theme of longing for something different and the desire for external validation. The speaker in the poem, who refers to herself as the foreign woman, expresses a desire to be seen as beautiful and desirable like the foreign woman described in the poem. So this longing for different appearance and identity suggests a sense of dissatisfaction with oneself and a yearning for validations from others. The title Vanity 
captures this theme of seeking external validation and the inherent human desire to be perceived as attractive and valued. Now, let's proceed to the analysis of the poem. So, what is the rhyme scheme of this poem? So, the poem does not follow a consistent rhyme scheme. And also, the poem does not follow a specific rhythmic pattern. The poem does not employ specific sound devices such as alliteration or onomatopoeia. The poem uses several figures of speech including metaphors and similes. The comparison of the foreign woman's hair to burnished copper dust and her smile to the silver of a living star creates vivid imagery. So the target audience of this poem could be anyone who can relate to feelings of insecurity, longing, and desire for acceptance. And the tone of the poem is introspective, longing, and contemplative. The speaker expresses a sense of dissatisfaction and yearning for something different while also acknowledging their own feelings of vanity. So that will be all for my report and thank you everyone for watching. I hope you learned a lesson from my report. Thank you.